Thanks. Okay, so yeah, we basically passed 700, which is pretty good. Um, I don't actually have a special, you know, I'm just too lazy these days, but, but yeah, okay, I want to talk about Skype for a sec. Um, in my last video, I made a complaint, uh, basically just a complaint, because after a while, I decided to tell you guys why I haven't been on Skype, and some lovely person in the comments decided to help me out. So I'm just gonna find his name for you guys, just to give him credit for helping me. Um, wow, I should check these comments. Okay, so, boom, comments. So there's this guy that commented pretty early. This guy. So with Skype not minimizing, go to tools, options, advanced, and untick keep task in taskbar. Keep what? Skype in taskbar, yes. So yeah, this guy helped a lot, and of course it's fixed. So thank you, weasels. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys that it's actually fixed. The, it, um, basically, Skype is down here, as you can see, but it's also here, except when, uh, a while ago when I used to close this, it was still there. Now it's gone, so I like it. Um, thank you very much, and let's get on to the game. Alright, so first I just want to mention the second channel that I just started. Uh, I've been playing this for a while now, but um, so far I don't have any vlogs on there or anything, but I'm just going to start off with gaming. Of course, other types of games. Um, I have run into some problems already, like I was trying to record this game, N, but whenever I record it, it really lagged. Like, this is what the game is like. See, it kind of lags. You can see the character kind of lag. It's not really that laggy, but it's slightly laggy. See, now you can actually see it lag. And the game itself would be really smooth and fast if I weren't recording, so I don't know why it doesn't, but that's pretty annoying, so I can't record that game. Although I do have a list of all the games so far that I'll be recording for this channel. Now, mm, what was I saying? Yeah, that's about it, so, right. Hey, I hope this is not going to lag at all. You know, I have some programs running, so not porn. I'm, I'm just saying it's not like that, it's just some programs. Anyways, um, let's just see. I had a really good game. Um, where is it? Should be number four. Yep, this is definitely it. So basically what we did is um, I hosted something on Rubly, just a chat room, but then the lead joined. Some of you may know he is a, a really professional player. Um, so a few other people joined, friends, and um, I decided for us to go random god, random map, random teams. So I happened to team with green. He got Isis. This is main two. Hold on, phone, one sec. Oh my god, that's... Really annoying advertised. Okay, whatever. So I got Odin. My partner got Isis. Valit himself got Orana. It was the best Atlantean. He got pretty lucky there. And main one got Isis as well. So Isis versus Isis. Odin versus um, Orana. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, now, I haven't played in a while, but I got decent at improvising, I guess. So, you know, uh, <laughs> let's just see how this goes. So basically, he is. Is he taking high hunt? Yep, he is taking high hunt. Valid himself is not taking high hunt, which is a good move because there are only two zebras for him. And I'm taking low hunt, obviously. So like I said, I am improvising. Um, don't ask me where I got this mod because I already have a video on it. Every single video, people ask me where do you get this mod. The the resource counter, I have a video on it. It's Noted's Ultimate Editor Super Pack. But anyways, back to the video. Since I had to improvise this, I wasn't really advancing fast, so I got a five minute advance, I believe. Um, and obviously, uh, Valit is going 6 villagers, 4 minute flat, which means he's doing an Uranos term raid. That's always what Uranos does. So I knew, see, I knew he was going to advance right there, so I had to get some defense up. I was getting some Hursers and trying to wall up using buildings somewhat. You're going to see what I'm talking about in a second, see? So I'm walling this area t uh, to defend myself, and he's already coming in with 2 Prometheans. So I send my Valkai here, because it has the exact same speed as the uh, Promethean offsprings, but he saw me really fast. <clears throat> I mean, he saw me just in time, so now I'm trying to wall up this area as well, just for extra protection, and then I'm going to be safe on the forward. Unfortunately, he almost got my little Stark. I could just run back in... Um, sorry. I could just run back in time, and he is trying to run in here, so I was making tons of raiding cavalry, because those completely counteract Terma. But then he was trying to micro it out, look at this. <laughs> yeah, so we're just having a tug of war, Elite and I. Um, they're not really having any action here. The Isis players are not doing any action just yet. Um, so he's trying to get my gold, obviously, because it's the most important for Norse and Egyptian. So I am guarding it pretty well. Running off the second I send my raining cavalry attack. So 
obviously he's gonna make some anti-cavalry units any second because he's running back to home base and whatnot I followed him all the way just for the fun of it and what do you know anti-cavalry units so I don't really ha have any counteracts against those because if I make throwing axemen his terma completely rape the throwing axemen because we all know terma counteract throwing axemen as well so it's really pointless to spam throwing axemen at this point so I just decided to keep going with my herser slash raiding cavalry tactic now I was trying to get teal's uh, obelisks down just so they could lose their line of sight they had a lot back here but I didn't care about those just yet now he was coming in with an army kind of destroyed a few units of mine I had to guard my food because I think he knew 26 villagers were camping out here wow more than that it's a lot more so I can't even select all of them I'm pretty sure it's about 29 villagers so Anyways, let's look at what's happening. He took a second town center pretty quick, so I decided to catch up to him. Take two town centers. Now he has three, so now I'm trying to take three as well. I'm just trying to get even with the lead, but he can easily destroy his army. I'm not sure why he pulled back there. He could have easily gotten this army and my gold miners down. So he just pulled back. Um, maybe he was... I'm not sure what he was doing there, but I guess he was just gathering an army. Mm. Meanwhile, I was getting my hearses up in here because it was getting pretty dangerous. Yep. So just in time, I was tossing down a tower, and one sec. All right, just in time, I was tossing down a tower, and once again, I'm trying to wall up and get a pretty defensive base up in here. Um, you know, this is what I've been focusing on two months ago or something, whenever I actually try to improve. Um, I'm trying to get good at walling and whatnot, because this is pretty useful. Look at this. He could not run in and kill my gold miners just because of the wall. This is the only open area, and there's a tower there, so this is pretty good. So he decided to get off of me and get on green. Now, basically, I was completely safe. I had no food. Triple town center. I could not afford to loop my uh, villagers on here for a while. Um... I kind of wanted to help him, but I couldn't run there because he was getting his anti carry units back and he walled up just like me. So, Valit was doing really good, obviously. He's a 19 plus player and I fail. Uh, yeah, so let's look at this. I have 100 favor nearly and I'm not making any myth units. I'm planning to advance to do Skadi. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm Odin, so that means I can't get Battle Boars. Um, I just really want to get to the Mythic Age so I could waste all my favor on Fire Giants, but I don't have any food to advance. Now, where's my Ulfstark? That damn Ulfstark. Oh yeah, I'm trying to defend this gold mine now because that one ran out as well. I'm just w wasting all the gold. I did not want to go up here unguarded. I'm just taking the middle of the map, highly guarded by two towers. Not really defensive, to be honest. Still having lots of raiding cavalry upgraded to medium uh, because he's still spamming Terma. Now look at the scores. He just completely rapes anyone else on the playing field. Um, now he's coming in with birds. Luckily, my towers easily counteract them. However, Norse really doesn't have any good units to counteract Stifling Birds. Um, so I had to toss down lots of towers and stuff like that, like hill forts, because that's the only protection I can get. Now once again, I'm taking a semi-wall here using buildings, um, and I th I'm pretty sure... I don't know if I walled that area up or not, but, you know, I'm just trying to uh, be pretty defensive, especially if it's the lead. I mean, come on. I cannot let him raid me. Um... Green is losing lots of carried archers. Red just pulled back, and and finally I'm advancing to the fourth age. He just advances with wall, so we're pretty neck to neck. Uh, it seems as if he's not attacking, so he must have some epic plan back there. And yeah, now um, the two Isis players are actually going at each other. Uh, green is losing though because red doubled him earlier. Now red comes in with destroyers plus a heck of giant, so I decided to bring in my frost giant to kill that off. And bam, great. So my fire giant was doing pretty good as well. He just pulled back. Um, this is when I started making throwing axemen because he didn't have any more terma. And plus, it'll be pointless to make terma. Look at the, all these raiders. So I had to loop throwing axemen on three longhouses. Yep, pretty much. So I could counteract his birds and as well his destroyers. Now I'm not sure what this guy was doing. He's just camping there. But I needed a mark. Oh, I already have what? Oh yeah, I already advanced. Okay, so I'm not sure why he's AFKing his gold miners, but I do know Red was, uh, yeah, trying to kill that off. He should have looped units. Look at all these AFK guys. Um, yeah, Green was kind of at a breaking point right now. As you can see, he just resigned. Now, during the game, the other guys claimed, oh, he must have disconnected. But in my opinion, look at this. He had like... 30 plus idle unit, that's not a disconnection. He completely gave up. But that's horrible news for me because my trade route was 
how do I say this nicely? Fuck no. It was just dead, you know? Like, <laughs> I lost my trade route. That means I had no gold left whatsoever. This is the old in gold mine, but would you say that's safe? No, not at all. That's a really dangerous spot to mine at. And that was it. It was two versus one. I already had enough one versus one in Valite. But now that it was two versus one, without a trade route and no gold. Basically no gold. I think I was going to go here after all, but it was not safe. Yeah, I still had this. Um, so my goal was to build this up, but unfortunately he saw my town center because of his villagers. I should have deleted these guys so he didn't see my town center, but whatever. My goal was to take these three so I could have six town centers and hopefully get even with them. But the, the main problem was, like I mentioned many times, I did not have a trade route. Look at all these caravans. They have a massive trade route, so... They're really safe, to say the least. Um, I don't have any protection whatsoever. I mean, any gold income whatsoever. So, it was pretty much over, and I knew it at this point. Um, but I just wanted to keep on playing. It was a fun game, really good. Uh, and th look at this. This wall basically saved my dwarves. Really nice. So, even though it only lasted for a short time, it saved my dwarves, as well as these hill forts. Now, I was getting up town centers, so I could um, finish making some villagers, and then I could Ragnarok. Like I said, I knew I already lost. Valit was gonna completely kill me. Look at his empire. Triple wall layer, fully upgraded. Uh, lots of palaces, whatnot. Lots of towers. I can't even explain it, but he was gonna win. Um... Yeah, pretty much. So, I was just trying to kill his army off. These were not enough cavalry, though. And he was trying to get at me with fire siphons. Look at this. I could barely hold on. My town center just stayed up at 1,000 hit points. Never mind, only 700 hit points. But that was good enough. And then I came destroy Teal's hidden army back there. Alright, so it seems like we are pretty even at the second. But look at my gold. Like I said, I was gonna die on gold. Uh, my normal plan would be to loop fire giants so I could, you know, spam a good army. Fire giants are hard to counteract, even if you have pure heroes. Only Egyptian priests can get good at it because you can mass spam them, but they're pretty hard to counteract. Now look at this epic move. He personally upgraded the damage versus buildings, which means that um, hero can tear yes people. Basically rape. Look at this. This is like really good. Better than destroyers in my opinion. And then he's attacking me up front. So my main base was dead. That's why I just used Ragnarok. Like I just went YOLO. I didn't even spell it right. I went YOLO because <laughs> I knew I was going to die. So I just, yeah, whatever. Alright, so I was trying to kill these Contarius off so, just so he could not get my second town center down. And I barely got him again. Now he used Meteor right there. I don't know if that's a waste or not, but... They already won, so who cares. Um, I was just trying to get Teal's forward base down while I was at it, and getting all my Ragnarok in one spot. Now, uh, yeah, okay, so I don't know where Red's army is. Oh yeah, he's bringing us in destroyers. I could counteract them with these guys, so that's pretty good. And forest fire. Oh, never mind, there's a monument somewhere nearby. Right there. So, now he's bringing in Fanatics, which is a complete counteract to my units, plus Arcus. Archai, I don't know. So, these guys completely counteract Ragnarok. I didn't stand much of a chance, but now I could use Forest Fire at least, because I destroyed his monument. And bam, we could get in. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now at least, basically what I could be happy of is that our scores were even. But I just told him, GG, good game, I'm out. I already lost, look at my population just dropping completely. Alright, so good game guys, really good game with Valid, I just laughed at these holocaust symbols or whatever they're called, <laughs> they spread them up on the map. So good game Valid, um, I'm hoping to get more games with other people, you know, I've been enjoying playing professional players, even though I fail, you know, it gets some really good games out there, and I like to play defensive, so hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, did I say anything? Oh yeah! I'm launching the second channel, there's a link right here, plus in the description. Um, hope you guys check out the second channel. It's just gonna be other stuff, other gaming, other vlogs maybe. It's gonna launch up a bit slowly because I need time to make videos there, but I will have my first video up when it gets launched immediately, so. It's gonna be an Omega trolling video, just so you know. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed. And that's about it. It's, it's been a bit hard to record lately because I always like to record when no one's home. And I only have 20 minutes before anybody else gets home in the house. So, you know, I don't have much time alone to record these days. But I'm going to try to fix that somehow one day. Uh, yeah, whatever. Once again, I hope you enjoyed. And I will try to get more games against professional players. See